Welcome back to the channel and today we are in the 41st millennium where we will be playing some Warhammer 40,000 and we have an exciting game for you today for two reasons reason number one I'm trying out the new Orc Codex and reason number two we're trying a little experiment with our battle report we've taken on board the comments that there's far too much dice rolling and not enough reporting so we're going to try a game where we do not roll a single dice on camera. This may work. In my mind it's going to be awesome, but if you could leave some comments once you've watched the battle report and tell us how it went, I would be greatly appreciated. Right, so today we are playing at 2,000 points. The mission is Sweep and Clear. That gives an objective in the centre of each four quarter is there somewhere honest and one in the center of the battlefield obviously we are deployed let's take you through what forces we're using okay I am taking uh, two battalions and they both will have the bad moons culture now as the codex is not widely available I shall tell you what all the special rules are so bad moon culture Add 6 inch to the range characteristic of DACA and heavy weapon models with this culture. Each time a model with this culture makes a ranged attack on an unmodified roll of a 6, improve the armour penetration by 1. My warlord is a big mech in mega armour. He has taken the warlord trait hard as nails which means if he's targeted you subtract one from the wound roll and his relic is the crushing armour which gives him a 4 plus invulnerable save adds one to his saving throws and after he makes a charge move I can select one enemy unit within an inch roll a d6 on a 2 plus and that unit will suffer d3 mortal wounds my second character is a big mech with a shock attack gun and I have a weird boy. He has taken Warpath and the Jump. I have got three units of boys. There, there, and there. Two of them have choppers and sluggers. And they have big shooters. One of them has shooters, and they have two rocket launchers. And each is led by a knob with slugger and power claw. Then I have a Burner Boy squad, that's four Burner Boys and one Spanner. In reserve I have ten Storm Boys, three War Bikes, three Killer Cans, my mech gun is a Bubble Chucker, I have a Gun Wagon with a Zap Gun, I have a Burner Bomber, and my second detachment is an auxiliary super heavy, and that is for my Gorkonaut. The secondary objectives I have chosen are engaging all fronts from the standard chapter approved list. And from the Orc book I have chosen Stomp em Good. That is, score three victory points at the end of each battle round if the number of enemy units destroyed by melee attacks made by Orcs units from your army is more than the number of friendly non-Gretchen units that were destroyed by melee attacks during this battle round. Score one additional victory point at the end of each battle round if the number of enemy units destroyed by melee attacks made by Orcs units from your army is at least two and double or more than the number of friendly non-Gretchen units that were destroyed by melee attacks during this battle round. And the second one is the biggest and the best. Okay, you score three victory points at the end of each battle round for each of the following achieved by your Orc Warlord for a maximum of five victory points. An enemy monster or vehicle unit is destroyed as a result of a melee attack made by this Warlord. 
an enemy character destroyed as a result of a melee attack made by this warlord. Five or more enemy models were destroyed as a result of attacks made by this warlord. Whew. And that is my orc army. So here is my Death Watch army for today. Uh, so, I guess, starting with my warlord, I have a watchmaster, just sort of in there. I also have Codicea Notorian, who has Fortified with Contempt and Psychic Cleanse. Watch Captain Artemis. I have four Proteus kill teams. One here, one there, one around there, and one in the Corvus Black Star here. And then I have a Vanguard Veteran Squad, a Venerable Dreadnought, two Corvus Black Stars, and finally, a Vindicari Assassin. The objectives I have chosen are Suffer Not the Alien, The Long Vigil, and Assassinate. So, uh, we did the roll off, and Dad won, so he'll be going first. Okay, just to quickly let you know, I have chosen the Tactical Combat Doctrine, and I'm currently targeting troops for the Xeno Hunters. Nothing happened in the command phase, so I moved straight on to movements. This boy's unit advanced, as did the Burner Boys and the Weird Boy and the Big Mech. That unit did not advance. Jet just moved forward. These guys just moved up, now advancing there. Bikes move normally. And this big unit here advanced as well. Psychic phase. I wonder what happened here. It's just now a big gap. So, the unit that was here, first of all I cast Warpath on it, and because I was within uh, range of 20 or more Orcs, I could cast a second power, and I cast the Jump, and they ended up there. And it should be important to state that this unit did not advance. Did not advance, despite what I said a second ago. Um, I believe we can do some shooting now. First unit to shoot is this boy's unit, who opened fire on this unit here, but it just resulted in a single wound on one of the Death Watch bikes. Next up, this unit was chosen to fire, and I used the more DACA stratagem, making sure they're all within DACA range, and I fired at this unit. That just resulted in one Death Watch being killed, and the casualty was the unit sergeant. Warbikes decided to fire into the Corvus Backstar, but completely failed. Right, next I chose this unit, and I'm going to admit I made a slight mistake. That is in fact a Blitzer Bomber, not a Burner Bomber. Ah, uh, all these awful things. So, uh, that fired at that unit there, and that resulted in one dead Marine and a wounded Marine. I forgot to do a summary after shooting the Morkonaut. So this is for the Morkonaut and the uh, Gun Wagon. So the Morkonaut shot at that unit there, and I think I wounded someone, didn't I? And then the battle wagon, the um, gun wagon finished him off. And the Gorkonaut also shot at this unit, and I killed one guy from that. Killer cans targeted the last two frag cannon guys and managed to kill them both. Bubble Chucker took one of its nice random shots at that unit but completely failed to cause any damage at all. Shock Attack Gun took a shot at the only thing he could really see, which was that, but thanks to rolling a 3 for the strength, it failed to cause any damage. Let's move on to some charges then. Okay, that unit declared a charge on these guys. Overwatch managed to kill three of my guys, four, four of my guys, and as you can tell from the fact that they're haven't moved, even with here we go, I failed to reach them. That brings an end to the Orcs go. So we just need to, you don't need to do any morale checks because you lost the whole unit in the end. Yeah, and this guy isn't enough to scam. Okay, it's, I don't believe there's any victory points gained this turn. No, it's the end of the turn anyway. Yes, is it? Yeah. Okay. Right, um, on to Death Watch, turn one. Okay, so I did nothing in the command phase. Movement, pretty much everything moved apart from these guys here. They moved up there, this group moved down here. Dreadnought is peeking around the corner, and the two flyers have moved up. 
So I just did Psychics. I used Fortified with Contempt on that unit there. And I used Psychic Cleanse and it killed three Orcs here. Okay, the Vindicari just shot. Uh, it got a six to hit and a six to wound against the wall, but he saved it with his goddamn Mega Armor. Orcs so, is best. Next unit. Okay, so this unit just fired into that. No longer big unit of Orcs. I killed the 12 Orcs and did a wound on the knob. Okay, Plasma Pistol from this unit. Tried to finish off the knob. He failed. Notorian's Bolt Pistol. Tried to finish off the knob. He also failed. Okay, this unit's just fired through the building and wiped out the Burner Boys. Watchmaster just took a pot shot at the jet, did two wounds. Okay, the venerable dreadnought just went, it fired its heavy flamer into the boys and managed to kill no one, and its las cannons into the battle wagon and did four wounds. Okay, a very successful shooting with this Corvus Black Star. I took out a couple bikes and eviscerated that unit of boys. Okay, now this flyer. It dealt another ten wounds to the battle wagon. Not another ten wounds, just six to make it ten. Sorry, six. It dealt another six wounds to the battle wagon and did four wounds on the warlord. Okay, so they rolled to charge that single knob they got in. Nobody can charge that guy over there. So, uh, on to attacking. Right, so at the end of that turn, I killed the burners and the regular boys, so I'm going to mark down two victory points for stuffing up the alien. And Dad? I didn't get anything. Okay, on to turn two. Nothing in the command phase again, so my mech moved over there to get a clear shot at the other side of the board. The Gorkonauts and the Warbike and the Knob move towards that objective. As that thing contains a unit, I'm preparing for their disembarkation. Cans moved up, truck moved up, boys moved up. Getting that objective. The weird boy and the mech moved up with them. The jets moved and uh, moved across them, which reminds me I have to bomb them. I shall do that in a second. And that is all of my movement. And the bomb only resulted in a single wound on Artemis. Right, let's do some psychics. Uh, my psychics, all I managed to get off was smite, which caused three mortal wounds on that vehicle. So Christian kindly let me put my storm boys down as I forgot to do that the movement phase because they want to charge them. Storm boys shot at that unit causing one wound. So this unit laid into that using the showing off stratagem so that means for every six I rolled a hit I score an additional hit and in the end even taking into account your minus one wound for my rocket launcher that hit, I caused five wounds on that dreadnought. Not too shabby. Next up, the mech also took a shot at the dreadnought, but in true orky fashion, he missed. Gunwagon fired its big shooter at that unit in the corner and failed to hit, and it zap gun at the dreadnought and also failed to hit. It's very orkish shooting. Very orky. Gorkonaut fired everything it's got at the Corvus, and managed to get seven wounds in the end. Again, not too shabby. Killer cans fired their rocket launcher and their big shooter at the Corvus and managed to get three wounds in total. The lone war biker and the lone knob both took shots at the Corvus and both failed to hit. Bubble Chucker fired a wobbly bubble shot at that unit on the corner there but failed to hit. Shock attack gun got a bit more successful attack when attacking that unit because I rolled 11 for my strength. So all in all, including the mortal wounds, I removed two bikes and wounded a guy. And finally for my shooting, the bomber shot at that unit there. And I caused one wound to him, wasn't one. it? Just one wound. Right, let's get into some close combat. Right, for charges, this unit charged the Dreadnought and I lost one to Overwatch and the Storm Boys charged that unit and I lost two to Overwatch. Obviously you can Overwatch twice because of a strategy. Right, so after the Storm Boys assaulted those guys that resulted in two dead Marines and a wounded one. The fight did not go well here. 
Um, first of all, the knob with the paracord failed to hit, and then out of 16 attacks from those who could get in, they all failed to hit as well. So that resulted in nothing. Nothing at all. In its retaliation, the Dreadnought managed to kill five brave orcs. Yes, and now onto this unit where I'm going to use the stratagem Death to the Alien, which means they all get an extra attack. And the retaliation on the Storm Boys meant all I have left is a wounded knob. Uh, this is not going as well as I thought. It's only turn two. Okay, in the morale phase, I actually rolled a one for that unit, so didn't lose anyone. And oh, my Storm Boys knob is gone. That means he failed his morale test. Uh, that marks the end of my turn. On to Death Watch, turn two. Okay, so first things first, over here, uh, that disembarked, so they're up there now. The Dreadnought fell back and he used Cut Them Down, dealt an additional two mortal wounds to me, meaning I only have one wound left. This group moved up, and the Flyers moved over there. Okay, so, Psychic. He uh, tried to Psychic Cleanse them, but failed, and they tried to Smite and Peril, so I Commander rolled and he just dealt two mortal wounds to them. Onto shooting. Okay, the Vindicari Assassin was shot at the uh, the big mech with the shock attack gun over there. I did three wounds. So this cluster of three units here shot, started with them, and then the Watchmaster and then these guys, and they managed to take out all of the boys. Okay, Watch Captain Artemis tried to kill the big mech, but he failed miserably. Okay, this unit tried to wipe out both the knob and the bike, but they just wiped out the knob. So uh, this thing fired all of its guns at the killer cans and managed to kill one, deal three wounds on another. Okay, so that black star at the end just went, it managed to finish off the killer cans and deal four wounds to the battle wagon. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any... actually there will be charging. Yes. Okay, so charging. Artemis failed his first roll but I re-rolled and he got in. And then those guys got in there, he tried to overwatch but didn't do anything. Okay, so to start I used Death to the Alien Artemis to give him an extra attack, but he did nothing. And those guys managed to wipe out the bike. On to Big Mac. Okay, Big Mac tried to punch Artemis in the face, but he just headbutted it out of the way. Um, pretty sure that marks the end of the turn then. I don't think anyone needs to get morale checks. I certainly don't. And all my guys were wiped out. So, uh, let's calculate victory points. Okay, so at the end of turn 2, the Orcs have 9 victory points, and the Death Watch have 22. So, Orcs turn 3, and things are starting to look a little bit dicey. Um, I'm now up to 19 victory points. So, in the movement phase, we're boy moved over there, battle wagon moved there, because I couldn't quite clear that due to my damage. The Gorka Orch moved over there, it's within range of the objective, but I need to remove that unit. They stayed there, and the jet flew off the board, so it'll be back next turn. Ooh, what psychics can we do? So, psychically, I smited the um, thing that I've literally put on. Gorka's Backstar. And of course, one mortal wound, so it's still hanging on there. See what we can do in the shooting phase. Gorkonaut fired everything into that unit, which resulted in two dead Terminators and a wounded Marine. Gunwagon thought it might try and finish off the Dreadnought, but no, no, it didn't. Bubble Chucker took a shot at the Corvus. I managed to roll the dense bubble but failed to hit so I used a command re-roll which resulted in me hitting it but then I failed to wound it. Such is orc life. Finally for shooting, shock attack gun thought he'd try his best but I rolled too low for my strength so failed to damage it. Let's do some charging. In the charge phase the Gorkonaut got into combat with that unit over there and the weird boy joined this little skirmish down here. So the Gorkonaut managed to get nine wounds on him, but he saved every single one of them with his storm shield. Every last one of them. 
Okay, Weird Boy had a little bit more success and managed to cause two wounds on Artemis. Artemis tried to take out my mech. He hit me three times, but I saved all three. Now my mech's going to hit him back. However, he failed to hit with any of his attacks. Boo. The Death Watch unit attacks the Gorkonauts using the Death to the Alien stratagem, which resulted in 11 wounds in the end. That is the end of Orc Turn 3. Um, do you need to take any morale tests? Uh, no, they're good. They're good. And obviously I don't. So at the end of that turn I will gain another two victory points due to being on three quarters. Okay, so at the start of my turn I gained 15 victory points for controlling more than two objectives and controlling more than the orcs. And I also used the adaptive uh, tactic stratagem to change my Xenos Hunter's tactic to HQ choices. On to movement. Okay, so movement. Starting over there, those guys retreated. The Dreadnought moved up here. This group moved down here. And the Flyers just repositioned themselves a bit. Okay, so in the Psychic Phase, I casted Smite on him. It tried to be denied, but it... Okay, so in the Psychic Phase... Codicia Notorian smote him and did one mortal wound. He then tried to fortify those guys with contempt, but he failed. So uh, in the shooting phase, this guy missed. It's like he's one thing. Okay, so the Dreadnought fired into that thing and dealt seven wounds, which is quite good. That Corvus Blackstar just fired into this and finished it off. It did not explode. Also, it did three wounds to the Bubble Chucker with its Hurricane Bolters. So uh, this thing just fired, it dealt one wound with its rocket launchers and finished off the bubble chucker. Okay, this unit just fired through and managed to finish off the battle wagon. So nothing's going to be able to shoot at that big mech over there. So, uh, my watchmaster managed to charge in, the vanguard veterans did not. On to fighting. So, uh, my watchmaster managed to take out the big mech, but not before he used the Orcs is never beaten card and did two wounds to him, and then he was beaten. So right after they fought, I used counter-offensive on Artemis, and he managed to deal four wounds to the Weird Boy. Okay, the Weird Boy just fought, and he didn't manage to hurt Artemis. So, that marks the end of the combat phase. Let's work out victory points. No, morale. There's no morale. Let's work out victory points. So the end of turn three... The Death Watch have 46 victory points. And the Orcs have 21. And as my Orc army now consists of a wounded shock attack gun and a wounded weird boy, I think it's fair to say that's the end of it for the Orcs. Yes. This battle was... It was close towards the start. It's the first time I've used Orcs since 6th edition. And I'm trying out a new codex. So, next yeah. time the orcs will return and in greater numbers. Yes. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this different format for the battle reports. And we'll see you again soon. Goodbye.